Okay, hello YouTube. So uh, it's been a month, month and a half since we started building the oven and uh, we've gone through all the trials and tribulations of uh, uh, building something like this and uh, now it's time to reap the fruits of our labor. So this is the first cook that we ever did. Uh, we actually just did bread this time because um, we weren't sure how things would work out but just look at that bread. It's uh, crispy and it's crunchy on the outside and it's beautifully soft on the inside. And uh, we were quite pleased. This is the first thing we ever cooked. Um, and that's the sandwich we made. So uh, the bread is from the oven and uh, we just put some fillings in there. As you can see, it looks delicious. And it was probably the tastiest sandwich I've ever eaten. Okay. Uh, and now those air holes that I was telling you about earlier. So they actually work great. You know, I can control the, the amount of air that's uh, coming into the oven and uh, you know when the door of the oven is closed so if you watch and listen you can actually hear the draft from those air holes yeah so that worked out really well so all the soot you see here um, this is actually because uh, the wood that I use inside is actually scrap wood so I just go to the sawmill and just pick up whatever scrap they have so this is birch wood and uh, it burns very well and there's no smell but um, uh, sometimes the wood isn't as dry as I would like it to be and so that's the reason there's a there's you know initially when you start the fire there's a lot of um, blackish kind of smoke which comes out and that's the soot deposit you see here but once the fire gets going uh, there's not issue at all and uh, there's nothing which comes out from here it just all directly goes out through the opening on top So this is our special pizza sauce, which consists of uh, what is it? Uh, chilies, dried red chilies, dried red chilies, poured, uh, into, hot oil. poured into hot oil, and chopped garlic. chopped garlic, fried with chopped garlic, and then some of this, which is Kisan fresh tomato. So no other sauce will work. Del Monte, Maggie. Nothing will work other than fresh tomato, kisan. Let me put some cheese. What cheese is this? Kodai cheddar cheese. Kodai cheddar cheese from Kodai Canal. Some onions. Mushrooms. Fresh mushrooms from down the road. And sausage, sausage, Amanda's pork sausage. from Amanda's pork sausage, also from, from down the road. also from down the road from Kunur. And some black olives. Mozzarella cheese Salt, Salt. And, pepper. and pepper And 
olive oil and it's ready for the oven yeah. so let's take a look at the oven here we are and if you look at the temperature gauge that's at about uh, 350 and it's still rising so we're about ready to cook and you can see the the walls of the oven now they're starting to turn white as compared to black so you can see some black parts over there but this side you can see it's slowly starting to turn white so that turn the fires at the back of the oven so you put the place the peel down and then just gently release the pizza onto the floor of the oven so here's the pizza cooking away it's been in for about a minute so now it's time to take it out and turn it around Okay, so here's the pizza. It's almost done actually. Let's turn it a little bit. We've got some nice charring on this side. Let's turn it and put it back in. So here you go again. Place it on the deck and just gently jiggle it so that it releases. So here we, are, we have a half cooked pizza and sometimes what we like to do is because if you put too much cheese on in the beginning, you're likely to lose some cheese when you drop the pizza in there. So what we like to do is cook the pizza half and then double cheese it like so. So now it's a lot easier and the cheese actually stays on when we put it back into the oven. So here it goes in for a second round. Okay, so um, you can cook anything in this oven. Um, you know, it's just all up to just your imagination. So you can see here we've done spatchcock chicken, we've done pizzas, lasagna, bread, uh, baked vegetables. Uh, you know, it's just up to you. So we've done fish. You can see here two, we did these two big uh, palm frits grilled and uh, they came out really nice. We've done pizzas and... Uh, we experimented with pizza with egg on top, uh, Jamie Oliver style. Turned out really nice, super tasty. Uh, bread, of course. Bread is delicious when it comes out of this oven. Uh, and there's the beautiful nilgiris in the background. We've done uh, pork ribs. Okay, so here's the pork ribs cooking. Now, this is a little tricky because uh, if you look at the temperature gauge, you've got to maintain between 180 to 200 uh, inside the oven and you've got to keep those ribs going for about uh, two to three hours. So, there you can see my temperature gauge is just at 200. So, this takes a little bit of practice, you know, being able to maintain temperature inside the oven. But uh, once you once you get good at that, so sky's the limit. Okay, so what's this? Okay, so that's uh, pizza, this time with a coriander, chili, garlic uh, sauce and the salt beef on top. Interestingly, that pizza peel is actually almost six years old. We actually bought that in Turkey uh, in 2014, I think. So this idea has been in the making for a long time. All right, some uh, uh, chili sweet prawns. And you can see you can cook multiple stuff in there uh, at a time. What's over here? Okay, so this is lasagna. And uh, I use these Kevlar gloves because you don't want to touch the sides of the oven when you're putting your hand in. So these, uh, they really help a lot, you know, because you can get a nasty burn if, you're, if your hand touches the edge of the oven by mistake. Okay, cast iron cooking. Um, delicious uh, local sausages. Uh, chicken legs, I think. Let's have a look. Yep, some uh, delicious looking chicken legs. And uh, finally, my favorite, fried eggs. So, 
I hope you've enjoyed uh, the entire build that uh, I demonstrated for you. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you do plan to build a, an oven yourself, good luck.